like and subscribe. Do you care about the size of your junk? If so, why? I keep seeing this thing on TikTok where the caption says something like, when she says, Aria size is perfect, the bigger ones hurt. Uh, and it has a clip of them sitting in the shower with clothes on lol. Like is it an ego thing, or? Because truly, most of us prefer the average size. Too big does hurt. I just want some perspective on why size seems to be more important to men than women. Edit, I don't want to exclude any genders or sexualities here. I am a B woman, possibly NB, not caring enough for a title nor to explore it yet. Just wanted to throw out there this post is for all penis givers and takers, I wrote this quickly, after watching a heterosexual relationship based clip. Dude growing up I always thought I had a small but then I started having sex. Multiple long term girlfriend and multiple one night stands. Zero complaints. Too much pressure is put on. Size. Have you seen the size of dildos sold at sex stores? How many times do you see someone calling penis as average online? It's always either small or big lol. Anyway what do you consider an average? I just want some perspective on why size seems to be more important to men than women. You ever notice, that a common put down towards men that women do, is to tell people a guy has a small penis? Like it or not, penis size is attached to a guy's masculinity, and shaming him about inadequate there is a way to emasculate a guy. It has little to do with actual sex functionality and fit. I think about it sometimes. It's a very pervasive and mainstream idea, even if it takes different forms, I, E. Black guys are always bigger, therefore better, he must be compensating for his small penis, and don't get me started on the standard the porn industry sets with huge dongs and the actresses, that moan louder than the city church bells in the morning. If anything it's confused me over the years, and I think it'll take longer than my lifetime before men can see their worth past the garbage that's portrayed in popular media. No man wants to hear or, that's cute when he drops tro. I don't do casual, and I count the people who've seen my stuff as an adult on one hand. No one has made any disparaging remarks. It works as expected, my partners have a good time, no complaints. I'm objectively average and a textbook grower. I'm sure you're not, and it wasn't what you were trying to say, but you sound like the most underwhelming lover ever d. Your Google reviews, all too. 5 stars with the following comments. No disparaging remarks. Works as expected. No complaints. Some women don't like my size. And some of those women are people I'd like to continue having relationships with. I can change everything else. But I can't change the size, therefore we aren't compatible. Depends what you see as the average. For men seeing another guy's. When it is not hard means it is small, obviously compared to erect, however as men this is usually where the changing room, or whatever the scenario turns into a uh, look at this lad's tiny. It is usually more of a lado thing, and then it leads to a complex behind the banter. I find as men we laugh at our banter o that is actually just insults, and then sometimes it actually cuts deep, but we have to laugh it off a winner of pusses. Usually worse at school, and in some jobs lol. Locker rooms are the worst with the grower versus shower issue. You give me a choice between how big your darn is, 3 inches or 9 inches, I'll tell you right. In now which one 100% of all males in this thread will pick. Bigger might not be better, but pulling it out of your pants with your woman and her looking genuinely surprised every time, and being horny possessive of it dismisses all comments, that would suggest otherwise. I would rather mine be bigger, it is an ego thing. Would rather be bigger, and have more control over where I can explore, than be smaller and less surgical. FYI, it is smaller unfortunately. I can't speak for others, but for me, it only takes one single size queen, to destroy my self confidence. I'm average on my best day, and while I don't have a problem with that in general, it was an area of insecurity with me for a very long time. I've reached the point, where I don't really care anymore, but I'm also nearly 40. 
tell a 20 year old who has seen so many films and TV shows with the big <laughs> jokes that size doesn't matter and they are not about to believe you. Even if 99% of women legitimately believe it doesn't matter, it only takes that 1% for you to feel inadequate. Knowing some dude has been farther into your woman that you ever physically can kinda hurts. Knowing fear have made her feel things you cannot ever do kinda hurts too. We are competitive. If we could give birth we'd make that into a competition to- How far did you shoot yours? This already exists with women. My labor was worse, because it went for 12 hours etc long. I'm comfortable with my size. I'm a little above the average size when erect, but I'm more concerned with the quality of erection. I need to adjust my diet some, in order to have better boners. Dude I lost like 30 pounds so vertical bar. My penis got bigger. Because we live in a society that peddles, that bigger is better, and makes fun of men, that aren't well endowed. I don't care, because I know I'm not small but someone that is, would care, especially when they've heard men get, put down for their size, or have had it happen to them. A man's penis is seen as a sign of masculinity by society. I never cared about it, until it became a problem with the partner. Yes, because I've been conditioned to- Small junk makes people less of a man according to society. And being less of a man as a man is being less of a person. Luckily mine is about average. I wish I was thicker. I'm okay in length but average in width, so it looks slim. I'm like the high end of average. Normal women don't comment on the size one way or the other. Very tight women are like wow you're big. But it's like somebody who's 5 foot telling you you're tall. Feel like it's the perfect size, so I don't think about it much, no. I'll say what everyone in the comments does know it want to say, show us your. Spend any time online, or with people and soon enough you'll see posts or comments shaming, making fun of, or laughing at small. S. It has become completely normalized to make fun of and humiliate small. S, and is tied to things such as ugliness, impotence, and general unattractiveness, little. Energy being a normal thing to say, can you imagine, if we used fat woman energy when something was undesirable? It is the most openly acceptable form of body shaming in the world, that destroys men of self-confidence and esteem. My trash bin is 68 gallons of capacity, so as long as my junk fits in there, it is all good. Yes and no. I usually get more frustrated when height is brought up in conjunction. I am a short man, but I am on the higher end of average in terms of size. I'd be lying if I said it does not hurt when I hear the oh hell is tall I bet hell is proportional down there type conversations. A lot of women seem to correlate height with size, and there seems to be a lack of evidence on the relationship between the two. It really makes me think how many women have just assumed I have a small penis, because I am short height wise. I have had multiple partners make yeah yeah size definitely surprised me comments, and even had a woman who heard about my size from another say yeah honestly I figured yeah would have a pretty small. That. But. So yes and no. I know it gets the job done, but sometimes woman is ignorance on male anatomy causes me to care about it. Seeing as how a penis spends 95% of its time flaccid, the whole grower versus shower thing should be common knowledge. If I'm not getting ready for penetration, my size should be irrelevant. Yes. Why? I'd fuck some Freudian. Sometimes, I mean I care enough to not use the urinals and instead use the stall. But I don't feel insecure about it with my partner, she has a thing for small. S. She's taller than me too, and she also has a thing for small tiny guys. I seriously thought she was lying about it to make me feel better, until I walked in on her watching porn of a short guy with a small. Getting pegged. It works out to be see she is a little insecure about her smaller breasts, but I honestly love them. Both because they're hot, and because they're attached to the woman I love. 
This is an oddly cute comment lol. All I care about is, if it makes my wife come, which it does. So I'm good. My roommate has a large A lot of girls might not prefer them, but a lot of girls really 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 enjoy them. A lot of guys prefer small titties. But stereotypically men prefer large titties, at least in the US. A lot of guys like fat women, but stereotypically men prefer skinny women. Do women not feel self-conscious about having small titties, or being fat, because a lot of men enjoy those things? While women face a lot of pressure to look conventionally attractive, guys feel a lot of pressure to be good at pleasing their woman. While guys may be more concerned about their package than women, women are a lot more concerned about many things about their appearance than men are. No cause I don't get to use it for the sexy anyway. I don't like mine, because I have had health issues, like phimosis, and that helped make my parts look bad. Also, it occurs on the lower end of average, and seems small compared to the rest of my body. Ferro has no credible standard for me about it being enough or not for 6, but I don't see me testing this hypothesis anytime soon. Another detail is the social impact of it all. Porn is an obvious reference that usually throws people down. In the real world, this problem is usually the first to be weaponized as an insult, just like sex life. This comes from both men and women alike, but from women it hurts deeper. Terms like big energy or pickup truck drivers have small penises constantly reinforce the societal ideal that either you have a big or you're a weak, insecure, feminine, cowardly, unable to please woman, jackass. It is hard to move past all that societal messaging. I am slightly below average, way I, I, I below average flaxid, and I don't want it to hurt me emotionally, but it does. It makes me feel insecure, and small, and cheated by life. Like I'm not enough, and never will be, it'll always be missing out. It feels like it says something about my value as a person, even though rationally I know it doesn't. I think the things being said on this thread basically boils down to two points. One. Women have different preferences, and fatter is okay. 2. Men as egos can be, just as fragile as anyone else is, and unfortunate but natural. The only thing I can say from an ego standpoint is that I am 6 or 4 inches with well above average size. If I were small or average I am sure I would feel unbalanced, and be self-conscious about it. Even with a bigger. I am self-conscious about it, because people think it is okay to just talk about it to anyone. Normally no. It only happened in the one or two times I tried sexting, and got worried, if my size would not be to the other side liking. I literally know a girl, that did not break up with her BF, after he beat it her. I asked, why? The answer was that his is really big he. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck. Good luck. Good luck.